Hello everyone, the Crucible patch notes are out and uh, I was going to make a video about the top 5 big changes about this Crucible patch notes but rather talk about a change that I think might impact the whole league uh, I think it's the most important change perhaps in the whole patch note but if for you it's not the most important change maybe you you, you hate for example the, the NF Spark or the, the change to the Pathfinder and that makes you excited that's great but I think it's one change that it, it is going to be crazy it is going to be crazy particularly in cell phone particularly if you don't want to trade a lot or you just want to do your own thing it can be huge okay and i still don't know how many ramifications it's going to have but let's dive into it this change uh, i mean is if you go to a patch notes you can go the attack mastery change okay this is going to have a lot of ramifications particularly i feel like it's going to benefit the duelist because it's just the best character um position in terms of uh, the notes right the starting point from the notes for this attack mastery and in particular the uh, maybe the champion that I was already good might, might, might get even better we'll see but we're not gonna go for the champion because that's boring okay we're gonna go gladiator this is a chill throw gladiator completely harmless will okay this 3.21 tree crucible tree you can have this green adrenaline one second when you charge its stance now obviously some people might not even want to gain a stance so for the gladiator that's why i'm using this example for the gladiator it's kind of free on top of that you have onslaught you have chang stance recently that's the past four seconds so you can pass in four seconds the from stance to stance that uh, that is going to benefit you too that is going to give you onslaught with you know might be a strategy onslaught for early leveling since you're removing the they're removing the the support maybe uh an idea to rush this um maybe with the ranger in particular we'll see the ranger is another one that gets benefit from it but i think the adrenaline buff is so huge it's so huge let me let me say let me show you how how it works okay i have to add that this is per problem because i was practicing for a glad buff expecting a glad buff i was going the spark before but they got nerf and i was expecting a nerf for whatever reason similar to landing can do it uh, it was a nerf that maybe Similar to landing Quindy, maybe maybe Spark wasn't a nerf that doesn't make that much sense, but it was kind of expected because it's rather getting popular and how GGG has been handling these things lately. So it seems a bit premature the nerf, but we'll see, right? Like I was expect I was expecting a Spark nerf, so I was like, okay, maybe maybe she'll throw because I'm gonna go self found, right? I'm gonna go self found hardcore this season. Last season I did self found, but in softcore, so we'll see how it go. So normally you have the sun and stun, so you have it like a like an aura. You just wanna use one of them with a gladiator. You kinda wanna switch in between. Okay, I don't have it here precisely because I'm testing the buff. So you will just change blood with the challenges for unique enemies. And you're clearing them up. You use the the sun, the sun right? That's how normally you use a stun. Uh, either you just have one that the one that benefits more, and you switch depending on unique enemies or AOE if uh, if you are a, a gladiator for the challenger uh, stacks but now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to put the blood and sun here you need to click the smart cast otherwise it won't work what you're going to do is switch permanently switch permanently on the left click uh, from instance to instance right you need to click you need to be clicking but i don't know how you guys play uh, i always play like this since the Diablo 2 you're going to be like Diablo 2 and they right i know how the PvE community is well it is what it is uh, yeah, you, you left click a lot, right? In RPG, so normally you're gonna be doing that anyway. Um, so I feel like this is kind of huge change. Every time you switch, you're gonna get not only onslaught because you change recently, but you're gonna be changing adrenaline. So particularly, you, I know maybe you are moving like this and you you're not pressing, right? You just move like that and you're not pressing anything else. But when there are enemies here, you're gonna press left click for sure, and then you're gonna start attacking, right? So I can't do this just yet. I feel like it's pretty it's pretty huge. I'm gonna be getting adrenaline for that. So for example, I wonder if you can just do this and rush the onslaught, right? You have here mana reservation. I wanna talk about that later, okay? Because you could get their adrenaline already. One, two, three, four. But I oh know adrenaline that early might even too much, no? Might as well take the onslaught, that's gonna help you leveling a lot. I feel and and then here you get the adrenaline and this one I don't even know if you're gonna need it we're gonna see the mana reservation is important because the determination uh, mastery got 
remove. Um, so, yeah, maybe this is going to be important, but I feel like you, you, we have some... We have gained some mana reservation and physicity, you know, besides this one over here. We have gained some mana reservation with uh, with the mana nodes. So you can put here. This is very convenient because you're going for onslaught already. Correct? So it's just perfect. This one also gives you effect of non course areas from skills of enemies. So, pride, right? <laughs> this is pride. All these things feel like they're made for the dwellings, man. So yeah, maybe you don't need the mana reservation in instances. You get their attack, attack damage while in blood, but since you're going to be switching all the time, do it's not going to be that, that, that big of a deal. Okay. So I feel like you just rush for this one. It's not that big of a deal. You just rush for that. Right? Let me let me do this. Then go here. Break these nodes. Wait. I forgot, obviously. Uh, maybe you go for this sooner. Also gives you some stats there. For efficiency support there you can even get this in yourself found in normal poe uh, it's easy to get the resistance but you know your hardcore your hardcore self found maybe you get this for early on and then you remove them right then you go here and you just go for your physical and bleeding notes uh, typical you know so yeah for sure for sure for sure the the duelist is getting is getting buff and i feel that for example, we have this one, the plus one to maximum resistance, body, gloves, and boots have armor. So you need to have armor and evasion if you want to get this one too. Can be very strong, but might be a bit hard. But on top of that, you get the increased maximum life if you don't have life on your body armor. So the body armor can have suppression. You can look for a body armor that has suppression and forget about life, and then you get this life mastery, right? So all these changes to me they're very exciting the, only because the duelist and the gladiator that was testing also for self out changes like like the the life there is no it is the, the extra life if there is no life in your body armor because in self out sometimes it's hard to get life dual resistance a stat life regen uh, suppression you know and then if you need fucking bail sometimes can can be a bit too much but hey if I don't need life you can have that life node. Right, and can have just a high suppression chest armor with evasion armor. Perfect, perfect for me as a cell phone. At first glance, the the patrons were a bit uh, a bit depressing even. Okay, they were a bit like, what the fuck is going on? Why why these changes? But honestly, now I'm excited for this. I'm gonna practice uh, the seal throw gladiator. Maybe I do also berserk, some berserk wheels. Okay, I know they're not very good in hardcore cell phone, but. I don't know maybe it's good enough to kill some some bosses because we have he, here the the nearby enemies are intimidated. Probably it's just better to go for a slayer, but I don't know why. With the crucible, I wanna force a, a therker and, and go nuts on it. And if I die, hey, I die and I have still my shield throw. Hopefully it doesn't die, you know, fingers crossed. But yeah, I know. Tell me what you guys think on the comments, okay? So definitely a lot of downsides on the patch notes, but this adrenaline knows loud. Honestly, it seems very fun to me. To me, it seems very fun. The about this, this is going to be something that helps your your will start up with the onslaught. The adrenaline is going to give you a punch. The adrenaline is definitely going to give you a boost in DPS, which is always fun, right? And then you're going to start uh, interacting more and more with the Crucible, where I expect a lot of things. The seal throw, you can, you can Crucible um, seals, right? It's not only weapons, but obviously... Feels a bit weird not going for a weapon like a slayer or or even a jammer not like a slayer type of wheel. But I don't know, like I still can can get some benefits maybe perhaps in my weapon with physical damage over time, physical damage and bleeding, and let's see what else uh, I can I can get from the crossable, right? Maybe it's interesting. But I guess we have to wait for that, right? It's a it's a seal wheel, right? But the seal you can still use it with crucible. Hopefully, we get some stuff with with the access. They say there's not fin fundamental changes between access and swords, so we'll have to see. But maybe we can get some interesting notes here. So I can't wait for crucible. Okay, so tell me guys what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.